The fluorescent lights hummed softly overhead as I endured another long, solitary night shift. The dimly lit corridors of the office building stretching out before me with long shadows. As the overnight custodian, I was used to the eerie silence that took over the building after hours, but tonight, a sense of unease lingered in the air. With broom in hand, I went about my duties, the sound of the sweep of bristles against the floor echoing through the empty halls. The scent of industrial cleaner hung heavy in the air, mingling with the faint aroma of stale coffee and forgotten lunches. With each step, the darkness seemed to press closer, its shadows reaching out to ensnare me in its cold embrace. As I made my rounds, I stumbled upon the office of my CEO. His office, a sanctum of power and authority, seemed to exude an air of mystery that piqued my interest. With caution, I turned the knob and stepped inside, the air growing thick with anticipation. The room was covered in darkness, the only illumination coming from the soft glow of a desk lamp in the corner. As I approached, goosebumps washed over me, the weight of the unknown pressing down upon me like a suffocating blanket. With cautious steps, I began to clean, the sound of my own breathing echoing through the silent room. Papers cluttered the desk, their contents obscured by layers of dust and neglect. With each passing moment, the darkness seemed to close in, threatening to swallow me whole. Then, amidst the clutter, I stumbled upon a file labeled Confidential, its contents hidden from prying eyes. Carefully, I opened the file and began to read, the words sending a chill down my spine. As I dove deeper, I uncovered the CEO's darkest secrets, embezzlement, fraud, even allegations of murder. Shock and disbelief washed over me. The weight of knowing such secrets threatened to crush me beneath their weight. How could a man of such stature be capable of such atrocities? But as I read on, a sense of dread washed over me, the realization sinking in like a stone. The CEO was not just a man. He was a monster, a predator, who preyed upon the innocent with impunity. And now, I know too much. Panic seized me my heart racing as I realized the danger of my discovery. Quickly, I attempted to gather the files to erase any trace of my presence in the room, but it was too late. The darkness had already claimed me as its own. As I turned to leave, a voice echoed through the darkness, sending shivers down my spine. Leaving so soon, my dear custodian. The CEO's voice was like ice, his presence looming in the shadows. With horror, I realized that I was not alone. He had been watching me all along, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. As he emerged from the darkness, a sinister smile played upon his lips, his eyes gleaming with malice. In that moment, I knew that I was doomed, trapped in the clutches of a madman whose thirst for power knew no bounds. With each step, he drew closer, his intentions clear. But before he could reach me, a flicker of light pierced the darkness, illuminating the room in a blinding glow. It was the security guard, his timely arrival a beacon of hope in the night. With a roar of anger, the CEO lunged forward, his hands outstretched in a desperate bid to silence me forever. But the security guard was ready his quick reflexes sending the CEO sprawling to the ground. As I fled the room, the sounds of struggle echoing in my ears. I knew that I had narrowly escaped the clutches of darkness. But the memory of that fateful night would haunt me forever, a reminder of the horrors that lurked just beyond the edge of perception.